Okay, before I go ahead and do this problem, I'm going to subtract 5y, 5x from both sides. I'm left with negative 3y less than or equal to negative 5x minus 15. I'm going to divide by negative 3, all terms by negative 3. Since I'm dividing by a negative number, I flip my sign. I'll end up with a positive 5 thirds x. And negative 15 divided by negative 3 is positive 5. My y-intercept is a positive 5. And I would, my rise over run, rise 5, run 3. Well, I don't have enough room to rise 5, so I'll work backwards. I'm going to fall 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and go to the left 3, 1, 2, 3, plot a point. Do it one more time. You only need two points to make it to um, connect to make a line, but I like more if I can. So fall five, one, two, three, four, five to the left three. Plot a point. Now I'm going to use, since I have a greater than or equal to, it's going to be a solid line. Connect these points with a solid line. And since y is greater than, that means show everything above the line where my y's become greater. Let's take a look at 11. Yay! Y is greater than or equal to 4. So on the y-axis, choose val two values for y. I always choose the y-intercept at 4. And I choose another one where y is also equal to 4. Is equal to 4 at when x is 4 and y is 4. Since it's greater than or equal to, that's a solid line. And since it says y is greater, my y values become greater above the line, but they are less than below the line. So I'm going to shade everything above the line. No. I hope you can't hear my son. He's in the shower on the other side of the wall. Okay, so here we go. Number 12. I need it in slope intercept form where I'm going to subtract X from both sides first. I'm left with negative Y is greater than negative X plus two. My Y is has a imaginary negative one in front. So I have to divide by negative one, all terms by negative one because that Y needs to be positive. Sorry, you can't see. So a negative one divided by a negative one is a positive one. So I get y. I divide it by a negative number. So my sign is going to shift. Negative one divided by negative one leaves me with a positive one x. Negative a positive two divided by a negative one is a negative two. So now I can go ahead and graph this. Since I have y is less than x minus two. So find minus two on the graph, that's my y-intercept. And then my slope is one over one. So rise one, run one. Rise one, run one. And every time I do that, I'll hit a point on the graph. Now, since it's a less than, it's gonna be a dotted line. And it's y is less than. So my y values, here's my y-axis. My y values are less below the line and they're greater above the line. So I'm going to shade everything down here. I really hope this helps.